Have you ever asked yourself what the worst movie ever made was? Have you ever wondered, is there a movie so bad that it holds the title of the worst ranked movie of all time? We'll look no further, because today we have a metric system designed to measure that, and it's what we call Rotten Tomatoes. Rotten Tomatoes is used to rank movies, and a lot of people use it as a credible source in finding movies they either like or dislike. Now, based on a 1-100% through 100% approval rating scale, uh, we've seen movies uh, come very close to 100%, like The Godfather or The Dark Knight, rank amongst the top 5 on Rotten Tomatoes lists. But what about the movies that are at the bottom of the list? The worst of the worst. And then amongst the worst of the worst, what is the worst movie of all time? Now, it's tough to break this down because there's a lot of movies. There's like 40 movies, uh, I believe, on the website with 0% approval rating. So they score a 0 out of 100. But how would you determine which one's the worst of those? And to me, you'd have to go by reviews. Now, what makes this movie the worst movie of all time, according to Rotten Tomatoes, is because it has a 0% approval rating, but has that rating with the most reviews. So the most people have contributed to this 0%. Therefore, to me, it would make sense to be the worst movie on Rotten Tomatoes. And that movie is Ballistic, X and Seaver. It's a 2002 action thriller film directed by... Not even going to attempt to say that, uh, with film stars such as Antonio Banderas and Lucy Liu, probably saying that wrong as well, uh, and they play opposing secret agents who team up to fight a common enemy. It is an international co-production amongst Canada, Germany, and the United States. Ballistic was universally panned by critics and have been frequently described as one of the worst films ever made, grossing just $20 million against a $70 million budget. The film was also a box office bomb. And like I said earlier, with 119 0% approval rating reviews, Ballistic X and Seaver is considered the worst on Rotten Tomatoes. Now, in its opening weekend, the film grossed $7 million in 2,705 theaters for an average of $2,591 per theater, ranking number four at the U.S. box office. The film ultimately earned $14.3 million in the U.S. and $5.6 million internationally for a total of $19.9 million against, sadly, a $70 million budget. The critics' response was obviously not great. Uh, on the review aggregator website, Rotten Tomatoes, 0% of the 119 critics' reviews are positive with an average rating of 2.6 out of 10. The website's consensus reads, a sternly inept film, ballistic X versus Seaver offers overblown wall-to-wall -wall action without a hint of wit, coherence, style, and originality. As of 2022, the film uh, holds or has held that 0% rating. Uh, Ballistic has the most reviews, being to date the only film with such a rating to have over 100 views. This becomes an important fact when factoring in the worst video on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, in March 2007, Rotten Tomatoes ranked the film number one on its worst of the worst movie list, noting uh, it as the worst reviewed movie on our site's history. Metacritic, which uses a weighted average system, assigned the film a score of 19 out of 100 based on 26 critics, indicating overwhelming dislike. Uh, Roger Ebert gave the film half a star out of four and later listed it on the list of the worst movies he's ever seen. He said that the film was an ungainly mess, submerged in mayhem, occasionally surfacing for cliches, overloaded with special effects and explosions, light on continuity, sanity, and coherence. There's nothing wrong with the title Ballistic X vs. Seaver that renaming it Ballistic would not have solved. Uh, strange that they would not choose such an ungainly title when in fact the movie is not about X. X versus Seaver, but about X and Seaver working together against a common enemy, although X, Seaver, and the audience take a long time to figure that out. Uh, Lucy Liu, uh, gonna go with that pronunciation, uh, but she was nominated for <laughs> the 2002 Stinkers Bad Movies Award as the worst actress, but hilariously lost to Madonna for an even worse performance and swept away. So, take it what you will. Uh, this movie uh, even had a video game, uh, a Game Boy Advance first-person shooter titled X vs. Seaver, 
uh, released in 2001, 10 months before the film premiered. Unlike the film, the game received very positive reviews and a score of 9 out of 10 on IGN. So the game was amazing and the movie just stunk. Uh, the game was considered an impressive technological feat by the Game Boy Advance. The sequel game, uh, Ballistic X vs. Seaver, was released six days before the film premiered. It is based on the final cut uh, before it hit theaters. So I think it's hilarious how the game was critically acclaimed as a very progressive Game Boy game. But the movie was actually rated the worst movie of all time. Um... I think that's absolutely hilarious. Um, but how does this movie stand? I think I mean, it's definitely not Antonio Banderas' best movie, but uh, he was never known for great movies anyways. No offense to him. But I think this movie should be taken... I think it should be taken satirically at this point. I think... I'm surprised they're not sort of some sort of cult-like following to this movie. I think something this bad has to have a small niche group of people who are really rooting for it and love it. Um, I think that's something to look into, honestly. Uh, if there is a group out there like this who just loves Ballistic X versus Seaver. But I think the worst part of it is, is I mean, someone who hasn't seen the movie only you know knows of the movie, the fact that they call it X versus Seaver and they're on the same side, they're not even opposed to each other, uh, definitely hurts it. And I do definitely agree with the critics that it should have just been called Ballistic, but really easy to memorize that. But nonetheless... Uh, this atrocity will go down as the worst movie reviewed at Rotten Tomatoes with a 0% approval rating after 119 reviews. But let me know below, have you seen this movie? Uh, are you interested in seeing this movie? Uh, someone like me, I definitely want to go and check out these movies that I hear are so ungodly bad. Uh, but let me know what you think. Uh, Ballistic, X vs. Seaver. Number one on Rotten Tomatoes for the wrong reason. For Cosmos History, I'll see you later.